Here's what an old hardware store can teach you about your business. Hi, I'm Chuck Fosberg from Next Home Gulf to Bay, along with my wife, Pat, your favorite realtors. And I just got back from Palmer's Hardware. And if, if you've been in St. Petersburg, where I live for a long time, you've probably heard of Palmer's Hardware. Palmer's Hardware has been around since, since I was a kid. They, and it wasn't new then either. They've been around forever. So it kind of begs the question, how does a little bitty family-owned hardware store survive in this day and age when you can buy so much online you can go down to Home Depot, you can go to Lowe's, there's just so many places where you can go to get what the hardware store sells, uh, plus much more. But yet they're thriving, because they do a really good business there. And I'll tell you why, there, there's really two reasons. I'm going to give you the obvious reason first, and then I'm going to give you the reason that nobody ever thinks of. First reason, they are experts. They're kind of known for plumbing parts and fixtures and things like that. So you walk in there. I've got my little example, the innards from my sink faucet in the kitchen. I put it on the counter. She's she's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's a Delta one. I'll, I'll be right back. And she comes back, gives me a couple words of advice on how to install it, and even puts a little dab of grease in a little packet, a little baggie for me so that She's like, yeah, when you put it in, you know, rub a little bit of grease on this seal here so it'll seal up real nice. So that's it, expertise. The people there really seriously know what they're doing. Now for the really amazing part that nobody would ever think of. So she also told me, she hands me a business card. She says, here, there's a text-only telephone number on there. And if you have a problem, take a picture of it and text it to this number and we'll help you out. And I thought, that is absolutely genius. So what's the lesson in all this? Do what your competitors either can't or won't do. None of their competitors are capable of providing that level of service. It's in the big box stores. It's literally impossible because they don't have anybody the, with the level of expertise necessary to do that. And, and even other hardware stores, it, it's just not practical at all. But they've built their business around expertise and service. And there's a lesson for all of our businesses there. So the question is, what can you do for your people that your competitors either can't or won't do. Pat and I have built our business around that too. I can give you a long list of things that we do that we don't know of any other realtors that do. That's how you stand out. That's how you get the business. That's how you keep the business and that's how you get referrals is by standing out, doing the things other people can't or won't do. So that's my little business lesson for today. And you just never know where you're going to get these really great lessons. And uh, I got a nice reminder today at Palmer's Hardware. And if you're in St. Petersburg, where I live, Palmer's Hardware is on 49th Street North and about 46th Avenue. You probably know where it is anyway. So anyway, go visit them. They're mighty nice, and we love small businesses. So I hope you're having a good day. If you or someone you know is thinking about moving, Pat and I would sure love to talk with them. We'd love to help. So thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.